not only do the layers of rock tell us about time as you go up, they tell us about the environment that existed. So right here, where I'm sitting, was the intertidal zone tens of millions of years ago, where we took the ammonite, it was shallow water. Above that, those layers with, uh, with full of shells, those were, were shell banks and shoals in the photic zone of the ocean. So the changes in the layers of rocks not only tell you about time and about the evolution of organisms, but also about the evolution of environments. As a matter of fact, if it wasn't for the rock record, we would not understand or even know about the big changes that can occur in the Earth. And unless you know what about the natural experiments that the Earth has performed, we wouldn't have a way of knowing what people can do to the Earth. Look at it. It's beautiful. It's perfect. See the spines? Basically, this shoreline of Angola has not changed since the early days of the Atlantic Ocean in terms of where it was. Africa separated from South America, initially, of course, the plant life and the animal life are similar. The Velvicha mirabilis is a plant which today is unique to this area of the world, southern Angola, northern Namibia. But we found traces in fossils in South America. Fossils don't only teach us about evolution, they also teach us about climate change. The timing of the opening of the Atlantic uh, and the dispersal of mosasaurs is very tightly linked. Uh, we see the same pattern with the marine turtles as well. Um, very, very early in the uh, development of the South Atlantic, you get uh, uh, mosasaurs and turtles coming from the northern um, areas uh, of North America and Europe into the South Atlantic. And Angolosaurus is the first representative of that uh, southern migration of mosasaurs. It's the oldest uh, uh, southern hemisphere mosasaur still uh, known. So Angolosaurus uh, uh, was and is important on a number of different levels. Uh, first, at the time when Antunes described Angolosaurus, it was one of the oldest mosasaurs known. And uh, it was also the first mosasaur uh, from the South Atlantic of that age. So. This uh, dates back to a time about 90 million years, which is, again, very early in the history of Mosasaur evolution. What makes uh, Bentiaba so, so incredibly special is the diversity of, uh, of, of, of the Mosasaurs and, of course, the amount of fossils. It, you can't go anywhere where you find new uh, remains. And at this point, we've got probably nine different species of Mosasaurs all in one site, which is which is absolutely a lot. This is the tip of the nose. The yeah, there's the teeth. So it's flipped on its side a little bit. It's a good day. A very good day. And we have back parts of the skull over there. Well, as soon as we get this mosasaur out, and that, that'll take still another couple of days, I'm afraid, because it's a very, very big fossil. But once it's out, it'll, um, it'll uh, first travel to the, to the, to the lab in, in Dallas, 
well then of course the next step is the study and uh, we uh, we're going to make uh, casts um, so all the all the institutions involved have uh, have, have, have copies of uh, of the fossil and then the original will uh, will travel back to uh, to Angola Well, this is a um, relatively complete specimen of Prognathodon kianda. It's uh, actually the most complete uh, specimen uh, we've collected thus far. Uh, kianda is a um, uh, species of uh, mosasaur. It's, it's relatively common at this locality. We find more Prognathodon kianda than any other kind of mosasaur at this particular First locality. But it uh, belongs to a group of mosasaurs um, that branched uh, from a lineage probably uh, 80 million, 80, 83 million years ago, uh, closely related to forms that we have in the United States. And uh, it's also related to, to another very unique mosasaur that we get from this locality called Globidens. I'm collecting uh, pterosaur bones. Pterosaur are flying reptiles which have very thin bones, as thin as a paper. And, uh, well, the walls of those bones, that make them uh, light and ready to fly. Pterosaurs are quite rare, in, uh, at least here in, in Bentiaba, and uh, every single bone is so important much more rare than mosasaurs and plesiosaurs. Any so. place on earth except here in Bentiaba where you can dig pterosaurs and other reptilians just doing this. This rock has at least 65 million years. So it's supposed to, we're supposed to be quite hard. It isn't, which is fantastic for us. Two, three. Perfect! Perfect! What a beautiful day!